Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on Lone Oak Farm. Um, so I started harvesting. Um, it's I fast forward a bit using Creator Tools, um, which I think I put in the description, otherwise you could just Google it. Um, I also installed Chopped Straw Mod, so I can get Chopped Straw on the ground there, and that will when I cultivate it into the ground it will have a level of fertilization which is good so we got our John Deere out here uh, we're just bringing the one out to these fields because it's not a huge deal and uh, we are harvesting wheat which is the first one of our, on our, our fields these ones um, the corn and the soybeans have a little bit to go we can harvest those basically fine. I have GPS set up, but I'm gonna do a headland first and then we're gonna do the rows with the GPS basically. And see, I don't remember how much this holds, I think it holds a fair amount of, of uh, subs um, grains this combine, so we'll see how much it, that is. I like this. Fe these fields are really cool. Big, big, big fields. I don't know how far up we should be. Like that maybe. We're raising and lowering the header, the spinning part of the header, which I have no idea what it's called. It's probably has some fancy, nice name to it, probably. Which I, as I said, I have, I have no idea. So I hope everyone is doing out good out there. I'm doing good. We're getting experience some rain today in the game. Look at the weather prognosis is there up there on the top right um, we'll see what we run into um, so I don't know I can't remember why I started why I chose to grow wheat maybe it was to get something into the ground and get something that we can harvest but I'm a little unsure about it, actually. So, it acts a little bit weird this this combine because um, I'm gonna show you. Let's stop here. It puts the header extremely far down, which is sort of a problem because it then it drags it into the ground. I think it will be better when we have. Uh, the corn header on, but for this and soybeans it will be slightly bad. I think it's the mod basically. It just put it puts it way too down, way too far down. And I don't think there's a way to get that up, unfortunately. I don't think so at least. The looks makes it go really slow. Pipe out change to remote enabled straw what we have that enabled. I don't know if we could put in a higher worker. Maybe. <coughs> Goes quite slow then. Oh, don't stop. fields I like this really cool fields I like that so you reap what you saw thing going on that was weird I'm sorry you probably saw it's usually some sort of like a negative sounds like a negative term uh, maybe I'm wrong there 
So I'm recording this on a Sunday. Have a busy week ahead of myself. Myself. Ahead of me. Ahead of me. Sorry. A busy week ahead of me. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to weekend again. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Um, hard to work and study at the same time. I talked about that before and uh, well it is hard. Not just hard work, it's really busy. How what, this is like uh, like half not even halfway full and it's ten thousand. Does this hold twenty thousand? It's a lot. actually quite a big field. It's the same, pretty much the same size as both those small fields, but wider. So, don't know how many hectares this is, but it's a fair amount. Quite a lot. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Is anyone else playing Lone Oak? The Lone Oak Mac map? Out there, I don't know if anyone is. I um, hope you are. Yeah. What else? Everyone is waiting for FS19. Everyone is kind of excited. I'm excited too. We'll see. I haven't I haven't prepared pre bought it yet, so waiting on it. But. Um, just a bit, it's a bit sad, actually. I'm a bit sad about stop playing FS17, which I actually like a lot. Play a lot. I'm, I'm a bit. I mean, sort of the prospect of setting everything up again, i.e., all the controls and that sort of stuff, makes me you know, just tired. So I'm sort of not that excited about the prospect of having to set everything up again. It needs to be done, but still, it will be easier when since I have uh, it will be easy in the beginning because you don't have as much tools as, as implements installed and mods installed. So it will just be pretty much the things you use for. Uh, the the crane operations and for the front load and that sort of stuff so that would be easier I think from the beginning maybe I should get a mower and mow these fields and do something with all the grass or we'll sell it or something, bale it and sell it at least there's a BDA on this map I think about that, yeah there's a BDA up here so I guess we could go sell it if we wanted to <coughs> 12,000. That's, that's big capacity, this combine. It's kind of cool. I like this. This is. I wish we had a green header too, but. I guess you can't have everything. Quite big. It's actually a humongous combine. If you look at the amount of grain it can hold. I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna go and. Where is it? This one. Green truck. Uh, which we had up set up to eighty. What is this? Eighty, three fifty, eighty, eighty or something. 
I can't remember all the stuff I have. I have different stuff from different maps too, so it makes it a little bit hard to remember which one I'm using on which map. There you go, and then we need truck. We'll go with this one. Then we will go and unload it here into our into our uh, silo silo. Probably not ne as necessary to do it this way when it's when we're so close to the farm. But thinking that probably with another header this would go fast with another combine that doesn't put the header so far down this would be easier oh, what was that it's slightly annoying not slightly it's very annoying I think we should be going. I don't know how fast the combine goes actually. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this is sort of a speed that you would get out and com uh, combine. Or not. I have no idea. I basically don't have a clue of what I'm talking about, so don't listen to me. I wouldn't listen to me. I like the first thing we get like one level of fertilization of the chop straw mod, which is good. And uh, I don't know if that works on soybeans. Should work on uh, on corn, but I'm not sure about the soybeans. But we'll notice. We'll see. We'll get there. <laughs> Sorry, I woke up early. I was very tired last night, so I'm tired after the exams. Um, so I went to bed like about half past nine or something, and I slept until five. Uh, so that's five plus two, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half hours, which is pretty good for me. I usually sleep by around six or so. So seven hour and a half is good. That's very good considering it being me. Um, but I don't think that's good. I like that. I have been sort of out in the loop. I, for some reason, one problem with YouTube is that if you don't watch the channel regularly, it tends to sort of disappear from your feed. So, uh, that's basically one of those things that happened to you. Since I haven't I haven't been watching a lot of some of the channels I usually watch. I haven't been watching those for a while. So, um, as, I, as, as I said, since I haven't watched those, um, I have no clue. Um, and what's going on on them. So I uh, like Dagger Winds, I haven't watched that in quite some time and I haven't watched <sighs> um, what's his name? 
Oh, what's the name I'm looking for? Uh, Nick the Hick, of course. I haven't watched his channel a little bit, a few hit, you know, because I haven't. This is like a um, cycle of badness. If you if you stop looking at them, then they s don't show up in your feed. So, and since I've been watching other sort of channels, I those are the ones that s show up in my feed, which is weird. No, well, not weird. It, it was. It's it makes perfectly sense, but it makes it harder. He likes saying, one of us just holds. This is like humongous. Humongously big uh, combine. It comes with holding grains. This is, just look at this. This is gigantic. Look at 17, 18,000 liters really I'll empty it before I turn it around it's so one of the things the millennium if you look at the millennium millennium farmer which is the one this map is based loosely on or this let's play is based loosely on he they usually they seem to start out in the middle of the field and do one row and then they another one because then they can what did he say basically he it doesn't matter which way they're going you still get a way to empty em, empty it into the green cart not cart we don't have a cart here but uh, you know understand um, so by having it that way and then you sort of alternate signs I guess Inside here. Oh, it's got empty. I forgot about that. God, I'm stupid. Sometimes I'm really. Sometimes I feel like. I, I, how how am I able to even breathe? Sometimes I feel so stupid. I don't. I just can't understand how stupid <laughs> things I do is so stupid. But I always thought that was one of the problems. If you if you're a quite normal, intelligent person, which most of us are, not we're not brilliant, but we're not having some sort of normal intelligence level. If you look at that, most of us understand that we're not brilliant, and we're not. Well, we, we understand we're not totally stupid either, but. When someone were in the middle and um, listen to, and people who are really intelligent, um, they do understand that they are intelligent, but they could work around that, and you can use that, and they probably understand that intelligence is a measure that's not as easy, easily defined, for instance. <coughs> but um, people who are low on certain kinds of intelligence, I'm um, probably talking about IQ intelligence. Um, the normal IQ measurement um, they don't understand that they have, don't have that they probably get up, end up in a lot my experience is they get, end up in a lot of trouble all the time but they can't really understand, figure out the, the patterns or uh, the connections uh, the correlation between doing still things and not understanding the world so. a little bit is sad actually it's hard. I have uh, some clients that are that are like that. It's not their fault, and it's not like they chose to be to have the ability they do or inability that they have. It's just the way it is. That's the card they were dealt, basically. Um, and they're doing their best. The best doesn't keep getting them into problems, though. But they are trying their best, and they're not bad people. They're just. That's one of the things that people talk about when it comes to crime and, and stuff. It's like, oh, we should really put people in jail. Yeah, well, sure, absolutely. To some extent, s jail could help out. But if you look at the statistics and the, the science between jail 
during jail time and it's not very good. Jail has a very limited um, very limited effect on residuality. Residuality? Residuality? Residu I can't pronounce that, sorry. Measurement if we go, you go to jail and if you're gonna continue your crime, uh, your life of crime. There's a lot of wheat. I think we'll go and grab this, this one here. No, I ain't the new. Almost done. Let's see, get this round here. Let's see if we can fill this up. It does extend quite long, the auger, which I guess is good. I mean, be able to empty it. There's a lot of wheat. I'm curious what we'll get if we sell that, but we're not gonna sell it now. Gonna first go and store it at our farm farm. I don't know how many leaders we'll get in here. I forgot I forget I forget a lot of things. Seems like I have two holes here. Oh. Sliding over to the other one. We're actually starting harvesting this gigantic map. And continue. little thing up there. Um, I think I'm going to stop, stop the recording here and do the rest of the screen um, because this is going to take a while. Um, but pretty much, yeah, I'm going to stop there. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. This has been Let's Play on the Lone Oak slash loosely based on Millennial Farmer YouTube channel uh, on FS17. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.